Hello there, welcome to Extreme Rate YouTube channel. In this video, we will show you how to swap all the buttons of the Nintendo DS Lite. Let's give the DS Lite a fresh look by adding the new buttons. First open the product pack and double check if we got all the needed parts. Then let's start the replacement process. Before disassembling the console, we need to shut it down first. Then unscrew the battery case with the provided screwdriver. And pry the seam to open the battery case. The battery compartment is often quite tight so let's gently pry out the battery with the plastic spudger. Remove the battery and put it aside. Next use the tweezers to remove the rubber feet. Remove the cartridge from the lower slot. Now use the black screwdriver to remove the two screws under the rubber feet and the two silver-colored screws in the battery compartment. Then use the orange one to remove the three silver screws and the small black screw. It is recommended to keep track of all the removed screws because they are varied in place and size. After removing the screws, let's remove the bottom cover. Take your time and carefully move the plastic spudger around the perimeter. Remove the bottom cover and keep it aside. Remove the screw holding down the motherboard. and remove the shoulder buttons. First get the holding pin out of the slot, and then remove the buttons. Please be careful the spring wire may puncture your skin so exercise caution. Then open the display enough, and use your finger to push up the front of the motherboard away. Fold the board and lay it on the desk. Remove the button membranes of the action buttons, D-pad, start and select buttons. Lift the upper case and push all the buttons out of the slots and remove them. Then install the buttons in the kit. And reinstall the button membrane. Then reattach the motherboard to the upper case. And lock the screw securing the board. Then install the shoulder buttons in the kit to the console. Align the whole of the spring wire with that of the button and install the button. And put the pin through the hole of the button and spring.
Then adjust the spring and put the spring parts back in the little catch. Now do the same thing to the other side. Install the spring in the pin. And put the end of the spring in the catch. Then remove the power switch on the side. And remove the volume slider. Then install the volume slider in the kit. and the power switch. Toggle the switch downwards before reinstalling the bottom case. Then fit and reinstall the bottom case to the DS light. and lock back the screws on the bottom case. Reattach the battery. Then reinstall the battery case and lock the securing screw. And put the cartridge back in the slot. In the last, let's reinstall the rubber feet in place to finish the whole process. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoy the modding journey with Extreme Rate.